Hey, what's up everyone? Danny here with my student Max, okay, one of our fighters here at Experience MMA and Fitness. Today we're in the advanced Muay Thai class working on some clinching techniques. So I'm going to show you guys some of the drills we're working on. Okay, so number one, we always want to start the clinch into a boxing stance like this. So obviously, when I see an opening, that's going to be my cue to start clinching. In this case, I'm going to grab his neck with one hand and post the other one on top. Okay, so I'm going to do it in this angle so you guys can see with the camera. I always want to make sure when I'm holding the clinch that I'm never holding around his trapezius or his neck. All right, he's too strong from here. So I'm going to use the palm of my hand, the other one on top, and use around the crown of his head. That way, if he tries to posture up, it's much more difficult for him to escape. Now, the second thing is always trying to use my elbows against his trapezius like this. Always keep it nice and snug. Once I have this clinching position, I have three things I got to take care of. Number one, my feet, all right? So my feet have to be square in a defensive position. Number two, offensive position, I'm gonna have one foot forward, bringing his head to one side or the other, and vice versa, to one side or the other. Now, you're gonna feel more comfortable having his head on the opposite side every time you're clinching. So if I turn this way, and I have my right hand on top of his, his head, with the left on top here, in this position here, this is a comfortable position for me. Now, if I want to twist my opponent and turn him to the opposite side, I have to ensure that my feet are in the correct posture. So in this case, if I want to turn him towards you guys, I'm going to make sure that my left foot turns back first, all right, and not the right. So I'm going to turn in this fashion and twist him to this side. See how easy it is? So technically, in order to unbalance your opponent in the Muay Thai clinch, you have to control the head. Where the head goes, the body follows. Okay, so one more time in this position, if I turn into this direction, I have to ensure that this foot goes back first, turn the head, and I'll come back into a proper position. That's going to be our clinching control, all right? Now, from this position here, every time I'm in the clinch, I have to make sure that I can also attack. So, the purpose of a clinch is to make your opponent tired. The more I pull down on his head, the more the back muscles get very tired. If this is a fast boxer with good hands, trust me, that'll slow them down. Okay, now, I want to throw a straight knee. Let's keep it basic for the purpose of this video. If I'm in the clinch position, nice and tight from here, when I want to attack with my straight knee, I have to make sure that I create some space. So in this case, I'm going to push him away and throw that right knee to the abdomen. Come back to my neutral stance. If I want to throw the left knee, push him away and throw my left knee and come back to a neutral stance for control. All right, guys? So these are small basics. It's only a token small tip of the iceberg of how we work our clinching position in our Thai boxing classes. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, comment if you have any questions for future videos. We'll see you guys in the next training video. Take care.